Hello. As you can see today, I'm going to do some painting with you, a painting activity. Now, the slightly embarrassing thing is, is that I've already actually done this with you, but I forgot to press start on the camera. So I'm going to have to do it again, but it means that I can use a different colour. I'm actually doing a bubble printing today and um, here's the one I did before. So I don't know if you can see that. But because I did that one blue, I'm going to do this one green and then try and print it over the blue. Um, I want to do this because I think this activity will help us to think about how Jesus is the water of life. And just like bubbly water, Jesus' love and life in us can help us to bubble up inside and be full of joy and love. Doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to feel happy all the time and that things are going to be great because they're clearly not always great, but it means that we should have this sense of um, love and um, joy and knowing that we're friends with Jesus inside. Okay, so this is what you're going to need. A piece of paper, um, a tub that your parents don't mind you getting paint in. Um, you need some water and you need some washing up liquid and um, some paint. So again, I've got, um, I've got a watercolour from my daughter, so I'm not sure it's the best type of paint, but it'll just have to do. Um, and then on my previous go, I used um, a lolly stick to stir all the paint up, and that was a bit of a disaster. It actually went everywhere, and I think I've stained the floor blue. Not good, but I found an old dried up paintbrush this time. So that's another thing. Do cover the surface you're working on, and um, you might want to wear an apron and have a um, kitchen roll or something to hand for spillages. Okay, the other important thing that you need that you might not have at this time, in which case you can watch me do it, is um, a straw. So um, this is a thick plastic straw, but it's a reusable one from one of my children's drinks. Okay, it's got one dirty used painty end, so I've got to be careful not to put that in my mouth. I don't want blue lips. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt a nice dollop of paint in to the bottom of my dish. It doesn't matter, it's on top of the blue. There we go. Oh dear, there's not a lot left. Oops. All right, I'm going to sort of mix it around. Oh, this is much better than using a lolly stick. It doesn't sort of splat it everywhere. There we are. Okay, and then I'm going to mix in a little bit of water, just a little bit. It's like making gravy, a little bit at a time so it doesn't go lumpy. There, okay, so now the paint has all mixed down and watered down together. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to add is a massive squirt of washing up liquid. So this is going to make your bubbles, so I'm going to go squirt, quite a big one, quite a satisfying gloopy sound. Okay, I'm going to really gently stir the paint and the washing up liquid together. Again, it looks quite swirly. Okay, now, hopefully you can see that that is kind of just at the bottom of the dish. Now, to make the print, we need all the coloured painty bubbles to be on the surface so that we can press our paper on top. So I'm actually going to raise the level of the paint a bit nearer to the top using this water. Now you don't want to overfill it, otherwise when you blow your bubbles, you'll just have a sort of um, eruption, an avalanche of bubble mixture all over the place, which um, might be fun, but it won't be very 
clean and uh, your adults might not be very happy. So I'm giving it a really gentle stir. Again, like gravy, don't go nuts. Just a gentle stir. Any of you ever made gravy? It's just like this. Okay. Right, now this is the fun and potentially hazardous part. You need to blow into the bubbles. You need to put your mouth at the clean end and stick the other end into the paint. And it's really important to remember to blow down the straw. Don't suck, because otherwise you will suck the painty water up into your mouth and you will get greeny blue teeth and lips. So always remember to blow. <clears throat> Perhaps have an adult around you and then if you start to go blue green around the mouth, they can tell you. All right, here goes, let's blow some bubbles. Deep breath. Slight spill. That is so much fun, even if you don't do the bubble printing. Right, I'm gonna pick it up and show it to you so you can see a little bit closer. Try not to spill it over everything. Uh, can you see? Right, I'm going to do a few more bubbles and then I'm going to print. So let's get the clean end in my mouth, not the painty end. Okay, now I'm going to get my piece of paper and this one has previously had blue bubbles on it. So I'm going to try for green now. I'm going to turn it around, put it on gently, press it down. You don't want it to go in the bowl because it may not go really soggy. You just want to press it down and then lift it gently off. And hopefully, yeah. Oh, we've got some bubbles, but they don't look particularly green, do they? I hope that they would look a lot brighter. Okay, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to bubble it up again and then I'm going to put it down at a different angle so that the bubbly square um, covers a different bit. All right, clean end in mouth, painty end in water, deep breath first, don't suck, blow. Deep breath. project in Cornwall. Does, don't you think that looks like the roof of the Eden project? Perhaps that's how they did it. Got um, an architect with a giant straw blowing bubbles. Probably not. Okay, here we go. I'm going to angle it this way. Put it gently on top. Okay, press it gently. I think it might be getting a bit too soggy actually. All right, let's pull it off. There. That, I'm actually quite pleased with. That's better than I thought it would be. Okay, I'm going to leave it to dry and then I'm going to come back and write around the edge, a bit like I did for the handprint actually, um, a verse from the Bible, which I will go and look up and show you when it's dry. Hello. I found the verse in the Bible. It's in John 10 and it's verse 10. It's the second part of verse 10. Jesus says, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. And I guess that's what the bubbly water makes me think of. Life bubbling to the full. So I'm going to write that verse around um, the edges of my bubble picture. There. I have come that they may have life 
and have it to the full. John 10.10. Bye-bye.